and cybersecurity, but also balancing openness. Balancing, so we've talked about a bit about freedom of information, but I think the uh, issue of openness of the internet, openness of the architecture of the internet that includes all those concepts that um, I think involve um, the ab ability of the individual to access information and resources they're interested in, and also to be able to do so based on a choice they make. When they do that, they are, in fact, often putting themselves at risk. And um, so I'm, I'd like to sort of expand the debate to say, you know, it's not just privacy or freedom of information, but also openness. Um, and will we be driven by fear and by views that um, the perils of the Internet are so great that we are willing to sacrifice major um, benefits of this commitment to openness on the Internet. And that, earlier when you said, what's your greatest fear? That's my greatest fear. Because being afraid holds people back. Being naive keeps people um, at risk. So I'll just say one final thing. I think that, and I said this before in a conversation that you and I had, the greatest single threat to the Internet today is the user. The greatest single hope for the internet is the user, but an uninformed user population. And we're about to add to it. We're about to add millions to billions of mobile users who are very used to a different environment and one where somebody else makes a lot of decisions for them. So we're coming back to our Haitian arguments, aren't we? The need to educate. Well, we'll look at